Hi everyone! Today I'll be showing you the painting process for this stormy seascape. Let's get started! When you do things from your soul, you feel a river moving in you, a joy. That's a quote by the Persian poet Rumi. I'm beginning here, just placing these colors on with the palette knife. Just feeling that river flowing through me, feeling peace. The dark blue shade is composed of ivory black and phthalo blue, and then the lighter blue just has a lot of white mixed into that color. And I'm just blending them together to make these stormy clouds that I'm beginning with. And now I'm putting on some white with just a little bit of yellow added as well. Not overthinking placement too much, just kind of putting it on the canvas doing whatever motion feels right. I'm putting that dark color on now for a line of darker clouds towards the bottom of the sky. And I'm thinking the sky will kind of just go halfway down the canvas and then there will be the horizon line. The piano piece you're hearing right now is Children's Corner by Debussy, and it's one of my favorite pieces. I find it to be so full of joy, and it always makes me feel more like myself when I listen to it. As I add these colors, I'm also just blending them together as I go. I'm adding a lighter color towards the bottom of each cloud and blending it into the darker part. I find using my fingers to be a really good tool while I do this, but I always try and wear gloves while I'm using my fingers. Just scraping those colors on, feeling the satisfaction as I go, and just going with the flow. Now some cloud shapes have been formed. As I blend here, I'm just feeling it out with my fingers. That's one good use of them too, is that you can actually feel what you're doing. It's also like having five brushes at once. I'm always blending the bottom of the cloud into the sky below it. There are no super hard lines with clouds. It's all very soft. Soft and gentle. I'm often gazing at the sky, looking at clouds, finding new shapes to make in them. One good thing about painting clouds is they can come in so many different shapes and um, even though there are certain rules with clouds, there is a freedom in them as well. As I blend these clouds, I'll tell you guys one of my favorite quotes. It's Helena Bottom Carter that says, I think everything in life is art. What you do, how you dress, the way you love someone, and how you talk your smile and your personality, what you believe in and all your dreams, the way you drink your tea, how you decorate your home or party, your grocery list, the food you make, how your writing looks, and the way you feel. Life is art. It's my goal to live like this, to make everything I do art. I think that's so beautiful. Now I'm adding some little wispy clouds among the big fluffy ones. They kind of give it a sense of distance, I think. And now I'm beginning that horizon line for the sea. I'm just working with that same dark blue color that I did those dark clouds with. Just dragging the palette knife across the canvas.
One trick I've learned to help me paint a straight line is to take a full deep breath in and then put the brush to the canvas and drag it across while you're breathing out. That will kind of help prevent the shaking that happens and it'll keep your hand much more steady in those very important moments. I'm putting on a gray color now at the bottom of the canvas to kind of make a sandy color for those waves crashing in the front. This won't show up too much, it's just to create a sandy backdrop for the crashing waves. Now I'm adding some very distant little foamy bits in the back. It's to create the illusion of waves way in the distance. The more tiny lines you add in the background, the more real it looks, I find. And they get fewer and fewer as you come to the foreground. And now I'm adding some foam for a closer up wave that's just curling up and about to crash on the shore. For these close-up waves, you want to add a darker blue in the middle of the wave that fades up into a light color at the top. And then splashing foam at the very top, like the wind is catching it. I live by the sea, so I often go out there and just stare at the water, getting new ideas for seascape paintings. It's my favorite subject to paint. I could just get lost in the sea forever. Now I'm adding some sea foam that's curling up that wave, just kind of dragging it along here and there, connecting pieces of it to itself. Foam almost makes the same shape as tree roots do. Foam is always fun to paint for me. It's kind of a wild shape that can do whatever it wants, just playing in the water. Out of the rolling ocean, the crowd came a drop gently to me, whispering, I love you, before long I die. I have traveled a long way merely to look on to touch you, for I could not die till once I looked on you, for fear I might afterward lose you. That's from a poem by Walt Whitman. It carries with it the sentiment that I felt about the sea before I got to live here, a constant longing for it. I often heard it calling to me, come away, come away, as those rolling waves seem to speak sometimes. Now I'm beginning to blend that bottom color with the ocean color and I'm adding some foam here and there. It's going to be kind of wild at the bottom where the waves are crashing the hardest. Now I'm adding another wave just behind that one on the far right. And making sure they're not too straight. They're um, always a little bit curved and gently sloped. And I'm adding in more of that wild foam that zigzags around. Whenever the foam gets to a wave, the direction of it should change. 
and move upward with the wave. Another poem about the sea goes like this. We may sink and settle on the waves. The sea will drum in my ears. The white petals will be darkened with sea water. They will float for a moment and then sink. Rolling over the waves will shoulder me under. Everything falls in a tremendous shower, dissolving me. That's by Virginia Woolf, and I find it to be hauntingly beautiful. I'm making the foam in the front really textured, just adding lots of paint there. It kind of makes it feel really real and makes it stand out in person. Just adding those lines wherever I feel they should go, going with my intuition here. The sea is a wild thing, and it shouldn't be overthought while painting it. I'm just letting those waves tell me what to do. And now the sea is about done, and I'm just making some finishing touches to the sky. Just darkening it up a little towards the horizon. And blending it down so that it kind of seamlessly goes into that white on the horizon line. While painting the sea, I'm reminded that sometimes in the waves of change, we find our true direction. I've grown to really love change in life and embrace it when I can. Thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. I hope you join me again soon.